If you have a bunch of guests staying, this is a short fire crowd pleaser with my lovely vegetarian ragu. Now, I've got some pulse pasta here. Just going to cook that to packet instructions, about eight to 10 minutes, so lid on there. Now, whilst that's cooking, I think we need to make a very rich ragu. That is what it is known for, rich, slow cooking, delicious. Now, it starts off with a really nice base. So we have some chopped up onion. We want everything chopped up nice and nice and small. Bit of extra virgin olive oil there. I'm quite generous with that one. Now for some garlic. So we just want to crush. We can just slice this one. So your nice traditional base that makes everything taste absolutely delicious. In we go with that. Now this is great ragu because as a nutritionist, I'm trying to get as many vegetables in you as possible. So I've got some carrot, nicely chopped up, all the same size to make sure it all cooks at the same time. Some carrot, some mushroom, some red capsicum, you can use any color. Some celery, beautifully small diced. You can really practice all your knife skills with this one. Some zucchini. Now I'm just gonna put the lid on and let these sweat out for about four to five minutes before we add some liquid. The trick to getting this nice and rich is to use a really good broth. Now, I'm going to use beef broth, which might be a bit surprising for a vegetarian, this is plant-based beef broth. Now, the reason I'm going to use it is it just brings the flavour out. Now, normally ragu would have meat in it, but of course, I'm making a vegetarian version, and this allows for it still to be it. So, in we go. Now, nice and gluten-free as well. 500 mils of that. I'm going to add some lentils just to add to the protein there, too. It's about half a cup. And again, I'm going to richen it up with some chopped tomatoes. A bit of tomato paste is delicious in there too. Gives it some real depth. And another little trick is add a little splush, as Richard would say, of balsamic vinegar. And it just gives it a little sharpness in there too. So I want to mix that around. And I've got some nice amount of salt. Of course, some cracked black pepper. So there's no meat in here, so we don't need to let it cook for too long. We just want to make sure all those vegetables soak up all that delicious broth. So on with the lid, and um, I guess I'll make a cup of tea or something. Oh, wow, I can't even tell you how good that smells. Now I want a nice, generous amount to put on this gorgeous pulse pasta here. Now, of course, you can add Parmesan if you want to, but I really want to taste these vegetables. I'm a nutritionist after all. I'm just going to pick a little bit of basil just for the top. And then it's time to taste these intense flavors. So here we go. Have a little go here. Mm. Now, I'm a vegetarian and I cannot taste the beef, but what I can taste is all that flavor that has come from the vegetables. It's really enhanced it because of that broth but that is an absolute one for the tool belt when a lot of people come around and you want to make a lot of people happy.